The U.S. military is the largest institutional consumer of fossil fuels in the world. And if the U.S. military is the largest consumer of gas and oil, it then is the largest producer of greenhouse gases in the world. A recent report from the Cost of War Project from the Watson Institute at Brown University, based in Rhode Island, is currently researching the massive impacts of the U.S. military on the environment. Since 2001, the U.S. military has emitted over 1.2 billion metric tons of greenhouse gases into the atmosphere. Over 400 metric tons of this figure are directly related to the wars which began in 2001. The American people should understand that the U.S. military does not report fuel consumption information to Congress in its annual budget requests. Now, the overwhelming majority of these emissions come from military jets. But the Cost of War project has narrowed down the sources of greenhouse gas emissions related to war to seven points. One, military emissions for installations and non-war operations. Two, war-related emissions by the U.S. military in overseas contingency operations. Three, emissions caused by the U.S. military industry, for instance, the production of weapons and ammunition. Four, emissions caused by the direct targeting of petroleum, namely the deliberate burning of oil wells and refineries by all parties. Five, sources of emissions by other belligerents. Six, energy consumed by reconstruction of damaged or destroyed infrastructure. And seven, emissions from other sources, such as fire suppression and extinguishing chemicals, including halon, a greenhouse gas, and from explosions and fires due to the destruction of non-petroleum targets in war zones. The greenhouse gas emissions by the U.S. Department of Defense is so large that it surpasses entire countries, such as Sweden, Denmark, and Portugal. The Cost of War Project states that global warming has already begun, with social, political, and economic impacts affecting us today. Quote, Drought, fire, flooding, and temperature extremes will lead to displacement and death. The effects of climate change, including extremely powerful storms, famine, and diminished access to fresh water, will likely make regions of the world unstable feeding political tensions, and fueling mass migrations and refugee crises. In response, the military has added the national security implications of climate change to its long list of national security concerns. The research project leaves us with four major benefits of reducing military fossil fuel consumption. One, the U.S. would reduce its overall greenhouse gas emissions, therefore, it would mitigate climate change and its associated threats to national security. Two, it would have important benefits to political and security concerns, reducing the dependence of troops in the field of oil, which the military acknowledges they are vulnerable to enemy attacks. This could reduce the amount of resources it uses to defend oil, particularly in the Persian Gulf, where it concentrates its efforts. Three, by decreasing U.S. dependence on oil-rich states, the U.S. could then reevaluate the size of the U.S. military presence in the Persian Gulf and reevaluate its relationship with Saudi Arabia and other allies in the region. And four, finally, by spending less money on fuel and operations to provide secure access to petroleum, the U.S. could decrease its military spending and reorient the economy to more economically productive activities. Simply put, the world needs to get off of fossil fuels if we are to survive the 21st century as a species. Supporting endless wars and a department of regime change does not secure a safe future for Americans or the world. The climate change movement needs to acknowledge the role of the U.S. military in destroying and polluting our planet. Oppose the wars, reduce global warming, and fight for peace. And this is exactly what we do here at The Global Network. You can follow and support The Global Network on Facebook, Twitter, and visiting our website. Remember to share this video and leave a comment to let us know what you think about the U.S. military being the single largest consumer of fossil fuels. Mother.